some of you have probably given up on me already, but here we are again once more in the middle of a whiteout. It's called a whiteout now. It's in, in reality a storm, right? And we already have negative 100 degrees. And in the first game, it kind of like, you know, builds up the tension to the first storm. And here it just happens after, I don't know, 50 minutes and we're in it right away it did catch me with my with my pants down honestly and in this case here the coal is depleted right now people just flat out hate me honestly we're close to um yeah to rebellion or even collapse i have no idea i've made some terrible decisions in the past and yet i think we can still turn this somehow around i guess 500 people froze to death. Oh, well, we still have more than 10,000, so this should be fine. Now, we do have a couple of things. First of all, of course, <laughs> we need to wait for this storm here to pass. Otherwise, I will not um, be able to, to do anything, right? So, coal catastrophic right now. Reason for that is the coal depleted quickly because we had a rebellion in the coal district and also my dust coal mine one of them got destroyed in the process and with it i think also some of my stockpile and this led to of course my generator not working right now really i'm going to overdrive it yet uh, for the moment this will output a bit more heat so it does compensate for a few things we have 700 heat stamps right now i could use this to some of these factions here that are hostile to me right now like the technocrats for example to fund some projects for these guys also, we can make a promise or brand agenda or even promote them. This will greatly improve the relationship with them, right? So with that, they are hopefully a bit better off. The ice bloods are also quite opposing us. So I might also give those more radical ones actually some funding here so we can live a little bit longer, right? So we're skeptical with them now, but at least it's not it's not leading to rebellion anymore and let's also quickly check out the warning here the people no longer trust you and we need to keep this or we need to turn this one around right right now it's not looking good of course the storm is the first thing yeah it's cold out there unfortunately we don't see any people anywhere uh, in this anymore right so it's all very abstract you might even call it and over here we have the expanded extraction district that is also not working anymore because the required deposit has already been used. There is no more wood here. I mean, there was 90,000 wood in it, but it seems like we consumed all of it at this point. So we can also destroy this one. This will also reduce the demand for heat, at least for the moment, right? Also unmet demands for the industrial district. That's actually something that we have right now. We cannot do because of the rebellion or because of the protests that we have. I wouldn't call it rebellion at this point. All right, um, yeah, we got the 30 Frostland teams that I can still... Can I send them to work in the storm? So we can see the storm is right now all around us and we are in it. No, we cannot get there right now. So this is something uh, we need to wait on anyway. Oh, wait a second. We actually have this coal deposit there. I think we can construct it at least, right? It's under construction now, yes, with the 10 outpost teams. And we still would have more for a second outpost team that I can send out there if I want to make this work somehow. All right, severe cold, severe tension. The whiteout should be over now, any moment. What else can I do? Skeptical, 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 but they're weak, the fervor. Their fervor is none, and relation is still skeptical. I could, with the biggest factions, we can also check this, 28%, 24%, 20%. With the forage, for example, we can get, give them the agenda. So the fortress can choose the next law to be voted in the council, and this improves the relationship with them quite a bit, right? So I'm giving them a free reign here, just to stay in power a little bit longer. <laughs> it looks dramatic though, right? Graphics are amazing, I think. The art style. I would love more details though to have in the city and stuff like that. Right now, they're looking like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> stars or something like that that are fiddling around or yeah ants very quickly so we're playing on the normal speed right now so i'm, I'm not even speeding it up right now so that's that's about that really that storm needs to pass now we're in a severe problem there right now i can however continue with the next research already and we probably should be doing this now there is not that much I can actually research in the beta, right? We have the youth still available, so the percentage is increased. We can use youth for working. We have also the watchtowers here. This will require more workforce and more heat as well, but we have then a, a, a way of actually stabilizing unrest 
if it comes to that. A housing block increase sounds nice. Housing block requires the expansion of this. Shelter is going up with the foragers, for example. Mm, the, the machinists, they would like to have a uh, housing block. It's the same thing, actually. The ice belts would go dense, higher density, right? And the technocrats would subside the housing and numbers and supported. So including the families. Actually, this gives me the higher, highest shelter availability and also some income. This is interesting. What's the downside of it? The cost is exactly the same. The heat is the same. It requires workforce, but all of them require workforce. This actually looks like the best option here available to us. Because we get the heat stamps, we get more shelter, twice as much as the normal ones. Right? Let's develop this one. Have a look at that. I have no idea what we need the cores for right now. Mm, at least it's working. I haven't used them yet, I think, either. Alright. Is it clearing up now? This takes forever here, unfortunately. This whiteout. We have the ration bunker also depleted, right? There's no more food coming in from that. So this is also something we can see right now. Um, I will definitely need to increase my food output. Every district I build right now, though, is definitely also costing me quite a bit of heat. But since the storm is over soon, we can actually afford this right now. Um, we can have another hot, hot house, right? This is another 80 food that we get out of that, out of the second slot. And this will be then already enough. Material is the biggest problem right now. Mm, and for that, we have, yeah, as we can see over here, more deposits available. So we can actually dig our way over there. And I'm trying to get as many of them in as possible, right? With the frost breaking. So that's all the materials here so that we can make a massive district out of this area. The industrial district, it's the expanded industrial district, by the way. I think we need to delete this. Is it still working? Not as long as the unmet demand has been always there. Um, I could make an emergency shift in my coal district. The thing is, I'm not providing all the materials right now, and this also leads to almost no coal output, right? It even states so that it's equal right now. So it should be fine. So for now, we are actually having enough as it is. Forager session incoming, so the foragers can decide the next law. It's up to them, really. We'll just see the outcome. Negative 100 degrees, it still is. And it should be over now any second. Time is, by the way, also passing by really quickly. Um, we are already in week 218, right? We are only allowed to play up to week 300 with the beta. So we are almost at the end of it again. I just hope that we can actually stay in power until then. There's no notable tension right now as well. Which is also <laughs> surprising me, to be honest. Because just now it looked like it is collapsed, but it is not after all. right? It's cold, of course, but that's about it. All right, there it is. The storm leaves again. All negative effects are removed. And also the trust in us should actually go up again. Since we have more heat stamps, I could also buy my way into, into the favor again. We could also grant the technocrats the next agenda then. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, so they will have also a saying there for once. And for the ice bloods. Uh, no, I'd rather not give them any agenda. Um, I would like to fund the, the machinists, though, with a few more hit stamps that we have, right? I hope this actually did some tricks here or there. The major thing, of course, is that we continue fulfilling demands. Very good. We're also taking in the last point here and then also the next way station. And we can actually already go ahead with the next extraction district, right? Out of this one. I'm trying to get in as many of these tiles as possible. There you go. And then we might work on another industrial district. Even though right now heat stamps, of course, is the main problem that I'm having. So that's probably not something I can do so quickly. 
All right, also with the storm gone, we should be able to do some scouting again. We made it through this storm, but it was relatively short. When the next one comes, it will be worse. In the past, without with whiteouts, devastated all our expansion attempts. We mustn't let that happen again. If we must find a permanent source of fuel before another, more severe one comes our way. So fuel it is. That's my main goal, of course. Uh, yeah, the coal one. Do we have the outpost there now? Yes, we have it. So this has been established now. So we have this one running for us. Frozen desert. There's more planes here with more food. It's really not something I would like to go with right now, though. Mm, there's cores. Fields. It all needs now more teams than before. There is the dwellers over there. And the glaciers. More food. Hmm. We could go for more food. There's nothing over here. Oh, and also the subsidized housing blocks are in effect now. New building by the technocrats. I need more teams. Yes, we are already working our way through that. So in the meantime, I really want to continue exploration though. We're down here, right? So let's actually yeah, go for the planes. This gives me food. Can't hurt to go for this either. So let's, let's just do this. And where's that... There it is. Subsidized housing, housing block, right? 100 workforce, we have that. Um, also heat stamps, it will lead to income, additional shelter. Shelter? Do we do we need that? That's close, right? It's very close. So let's actually go ahead and try to have it won. Ah, we need to have an expanded housing district though for another housing block. And let's just make sure that we actually take one that is somewhere in between here to take advantage of the heat there as well right so this area there perfect very good meanwhile this one comes along we're still governing right so for now it's looking fine some minor tensions that's okay they should actually like us now right neutral at least again ice bloods are still skeptical uh, the machinists are still hostile this is we can make a promise for them let's also try this promise a uh, quest to repeal the weather adjusted shifts, destroy the bio waste drum hothouse, or research heat reinjection. Alright, let's try to make this promise. Heat rejection, let's have a look where that is. Up here, waste heat conversion. So the game actually tells me where it is, right, where we have that promise. And there it is. The excess heat produced by industrial machines will be reinjected back into the machines to allow them to operate at higher capacity. And yeah, increases the research, uh, the production efficiency significantly. The technocrats also like this, um, this approach here, right? So both of them will like this idea. And let's develop it right away to fulfill another promise. All right, food is fine again. Housing is fine. Heat is fine. So this should also lower discontent in general. Materials and goods especially is not fine at the moment. So we have the next extraction district now working for us, producing the materials that is still not enough so we need to expand this area once and we will also get another housing area out of this and at the same time uh, we don't have enough heat force enough workforce actually right now that's also something to keep in mind all right but at least this is coming along also now we are getting the next promise here free essentials has been put on the agenda by the technocrats another promise that we are going for here all right let's just see the expedition has started and is now already over here having a look at that oh also we probably <laughs> should turn off the overdrive again now still the expanded industrial district is a problem for me disabled unmet demands doesn't really state what these demands are. District is not working right now. I mean, it's a shame that we're producing goods for us, right? Very good. At least material has surplus again. And promise to the machinist has been kept. They are delighted. They now look upon your room more positively again. Trust rises again with those guys too. They're still a, skip, a bit skeptical towards us. And the ice bills begin to protest again. Why? They demand you repeal the mandatory school and pass a conservative treatment. I can't do that. 
We will deal with them later and the protests will disperse if you improve relationships to normal. The thing is, this once again disables another district that we had, right, with the ice bloods. Fund their projects, I can do this once more. Is that doing enough? No, we can still do something else though. Trust restored! The people's faith in you has been restored. The common consensus is you'll continue to hold your position as steward. Holy cow, yes, we made it. So at least we are staying in power again for a little while longer. I, I told you, right? I would I would make it work <laughs> somehow. Uh, make a promise, grant the agenda, or promote them. This will, however, make them more powerful too, right? Right now they're actually yeah, already at 22%. Hmm... I mean, they're all rather balanced right now, you see? And the machinists, I can grant them the agenda again. I like to do this because usually I'm on course with them. So let's actually give them the agenda once more to also boost our reputation with them. And with those guys here, I could make a promise that it's probably once again the, the school promise. Yeah, or we promote them. No idea. I don't like to make them more powerful. The expedition has been finished down here in the plains. So there is something, the hunting grounds. Let's have a look inside. There is a food deposit of 1 million food. And we can harvest this for five Frostland teams. And we're doing this, of course. And yeah, the machinists demand vote on heat re-injection. They have just drafted the law. Our customary practice would be to hold a vote. The machinists graciously agree to forego their customer research privilege, but trust you will grant them the agenda in the near future to compensate. All right, there's the law that's in progress right now. What's going on here? Another one protest in progress. It's once again the ice bloods, right? They're very radical and they're disabling my districts all the time. And fun projects, yeah, the game also tells me we need to negotiate with them. Promises anything really to make them happy. This will really only make them more powerful. Let's use it once. Alright, and the protest begins collapsing. Alright. And the protest just loses steam because... We're actually on good terms with them again, but they are actually now 28% power. Something I don't like. And we have another 50 weeks uh, before the game is over. Alright, let's just hope that this extraction district is working again. Can we actually do in the meantime the logistics district up here? Yes, we can. Perfect. Right, to get more teams on their way, this would be a, another nice goal. Uh, surplus there is there. Food is a great surplus right now. We can do something else. Yeah, if we had the money, we could get a food depot out because we're having such a great surplus right now that we could utilize this. Coal is still problematic. Uh, we're probably going to need another dust coal mine. I don't, don't have any other coal mines though available, right? This one, however, should work. Gives me 200 coal right now. But even that doesn't work. Right? Even that does not lead to a surplus of coal. And we're actually losing coal again. That's because of all the building of new districts, of course, that do cost me heat levels. Veronica, the janitor. <laughs> You amended the allow productive uh, outside the law to let in whole families regardless of the qualification. And she's skeptical about this. Yeah, total demand of heat is a bit high for these districts here. Now, if only there would be a way to actually increase the heat generation of the generator so there is no steam hubs anymore as far as i can see the technocrats have a suggestion want to pass the mass produced goods to solve problems with heat stamps we should pass that let us pursue it and the city will benefit they will look in with this trust investigate the solution we have the promise here 
with the heat stamps. I mean, yeah, we do have a problem here. We're only producing nine right now per week, right? And because we don't have the good problem solved right now, we are also losing a lot there. Five negative per month per week because of the unmet demand for goods. The thing is, how long is this not working now? Unmet demands. Hmm, the game really doesn't tell me why. Can I demolish it and build it again? Probably is the safest bet. Or can we expand it? No. I mean, it's the... Yeah, the agenda is fine. I need to get the... The new law. We still have that cooldown, right? That's something. I don't have enough money. Hmm. Interesting. How can we get this district here to work again? It's a bit problematic for me right now. The district costs me... The industrial one. 120 heat stamps. And materials. Materials we don't have right now because this is not working. So we need more. Up here we have the, core, uh, the iron deposit that I could go ahead with. Let's just try and get the food in there too. Alright, so there's two deposits up here that I would like to use. Let's try and make it work like that somehow. There it is. And with that we can get then a new extraction district going if I have a bit more workforce. So we need to wait for it to grow a bit further again. In the hills, we would have the chance of finding goods. So I could try it. It's also close to us. Let's start this expedition. We have just the amount of expedition workforce that we need for that this would be fine i cannot research anymore because we don't have an active research anymore yep that's okay we, d we can't finish any research anymore anyway there it is the law again and there is the promise with the mass produced goods it's probably a good good idea in order to overcome goods production efficiency is significantly increased of course, there's no downside to that. We can negotiate further um, with the foragers. And vote for it, please. And we are going to promise you what? Build the dust coal mine. It's probably what I would like to do. <laughs> anyway, right? Or we just fund their project. No, let's have the coal mine there. Because I need to do this anyway. Uh, and now you can vote. Alright, I think I s I'm slowly getting the hang of this. When it when it comes to those factions. It was a bit overwhelming at first, but... There's the promise also that has been kept with it, right? And we have the mass-produced goods. And with that, holy cow, it's negative one. <laughs> and we would actually have then every good fulfilled. Do we still get that? No, we also not get uh, do not get the penalty anymore, right? So, in this case here, income is at 16 again. It's getting colder, negative 50 it is again. So, the heat demand is going up. And with that, my coal production right now is problematic, to say the least. So, in this case here, I would need to build what I've promised, the dust coal mine. We can build a second one. 400 workforce requirement, that's steep, right? I would probably, before we do this probably do the material district because materials are super important and right now we have a super unfulfilled error here so that's the extraction zone just here where we have the iron ore right there you go building this can we still build then the house no i need to wait for this now for the 400 workforce should be coming in anyway over time and the ice bloods once again begin to rally. These guys are really troublemakers. Bursting with love and admiration, the streets fill with ice bloods as they praise your name and call upon the rest of the city to rise up for you as well. Ice bloods have begun rallying in support of you and the direction you have led the city. Alright. So it seems to be positive. I have no idea why they love me so much more. <laughs> and 1,800 people moved in. That's the workforce that we are going to need for that dust coal mine. And with that also finish the next promise there. That's looking fantastic now. 
All right. This district is now working. And with that, we have a material surplus again. Very good. Super important. And also the promises have been kept. And we actually have now two factions that love us. <laughs> How did that happen, right? Two dust coal mines are also working now. And we are stockpiling a bit of coal. But right now, there is another whiteout coming. Unfortunately. This will make things worse again. Alright, other than that, we have... Oh, Storm has hit the, hit the city once more. The stockpile is immediately at zero. I have really no idea how this works. And the whiteout's ending also the rallies here that we have. There's still another thing here. Alright, just someone. Negative one, uh, negative 90 degrees it's only this time around. Catastrophic cold prioritize um, the... Yeah, the housing heating, I would say. So cold differently. Cold is decreased, right? But we produce less goods. That's actually in my favor right now. We can also hopefully activate the overdrive once more. But that's also not really working in our favor there. Do the outposts work actually? Oh. Uh, shipping to the road. It seems like... No, they're actually disabled, but they're still existing, right? Oh! And we've reached the end of the beta. At least still in position as a steward. <laughs> I hope. And it's time. And that was it, right? And we continue onwards then in July. Or if there is another beta for you to show. I hope you enjoyed this. Even though all the troubles I've caused, <laughs> we still managed to stay in power up to the last second and yeah the game is vastly different than frostpunk 1 and actually i'm also a bit curious how it really turns out then um, with the other scenarios the campaign and also a real endless mode as well i hope you enjoyed this one stay tuned